okay good morning friends so today i will come with a very interesting topic and that is how you can track a cyclone and how can you can create a immediate map in arcgis online so i hope it will be very interesting session to learn this technique and you will understand how the different satellite data which is available in the market okay so that we can access very easily inside the arcgis online as a service so it will be a very interesting session because now everyone is actually very worried about this climate change and as you see uh, in bengal we have last four years we have five difficult cyclones and even this is a winter time and we have a very uh, severe cyclone uh, uh, it's came its name is jawad and it is going on and you see the outside is totally cloudy but how can i will observe and how can i will alert my friends who will stay near to the coastal area so as a geospatial scientist we are responsible to teach our friends or students how we can track a cyclone and we can create a very nice map to understand the situation which will help you for a different kind of study so without wasting much time uh, we can start the session okay so i just uh, uh, move to the google so the situation is how we can track a cyclone here so if you see simply what we are going to do we are going to log in in arcgis online okay so how will lo how will log in let's start so simply type arcgis online okay so you can go to the login page and you will going to sign in with your login account which you have with arcgis online so now the next important thing which we'll going to do that is how we'll create a map and how we'll track it it's time we will go start the map viewer and see this is my india so as now india in the eastern part we have a cyclone which is no name as a jawad which is came so how we'll going to track that so there is a various layer which you can find which you can overlay and we can create a very nice map to understand the tracking of the cyclone conditions so first thing you have to go to this add button and click over the search layer so here in the search layer you simply type cyclone and you see okay so see here i am not able to find anything but why it is because i want to search this in our living atlas platform so you have to change this and select your living atlas and see now you can able to see the active hurricane cyclone typhoon layer which is created by the esri what about a live cyclone will be there so you can able to identify that particular locations so i am just simply adding that particular layer and you can able to see this is the present condition of the cyclone how it is moving towards our eastern coast and it will going to landfall in west bengal okay so before uh, landing also so we whatever we understand that will be uh, it will be weaker but uh, see if you you can get uh, every update on that particular points which we have here okay so uh now i want few more extra layers to understand uh this map in a very nice way so for that what we required satellite image yes the satellite image is very much available you know so we can use the satellite image for our analysis so for that i just type another map so that will be our noa colorized
image let's type and let's see yes so we have no colorized image here so if I want to add simply I will going to add the colorized map so in this colorized map you can able to identify the locations where it is a the cyclone is actually coming severed now the question is when I'm when I am doing that then the obviously this is a NOAA two kilometer image so this not have any boundary and something so we are not able to understand where it is it is actually heated so for that what we required we required the Indian administrative boundary so let's find the boundary Indian boundary so I am just simply type here over India so you can see you can get the India boundary whatever the boundaries you have so if you type like this also so you can get the Indian administrative boundary Indian state and districts okay so whatever you want so you can you can able to add with this particular boundary so I'm simply click on that boundary and you can see I can able to find that particular uh, the boundary here if you want more uh, like uh, if you want to go for the uh, sub districts level map so that also you can able to search here uh, district or sub district so if you see here maybe you will get yes in the sub district map so that also you can add to your maps whatever you want to um, add with this particular uh, map which you want to find but see here we have a various layer so we can adjust the index of the map so that we the map can uh, read very easily and can understand very easily by the others so let's go to the content okay so we have this content so you see so many different layers which is came and add to this the first things which we are going to do that is our indian state district boundaries whatever we have and we have a no color is map so let's check how many inter district boundary we have here so this is the first boundary and uh, we have this is the state boundary so uh, for for making to understanding this is very nice way first we will going to change the color pattern of this okay so we will just going to select that and i will going to select the symbol and here i just don't want any field color so i'm just making the field is unfilled and i go to the outline okay and i can make it uh, uh, like light blue over the district boundary so let's see the changes how it is looking okay this is something fine and now if i want a state boundary so how will overlay that so very nicely so you can go you can make it done and now you have the india district boundary so uh, same way you go to the style select the options select the symbols and see in the outline color you can put it at as a red and if you want to change the thickness so that is on you okay so simply you click on ok and you see how nicely we can get that particular boundary so if you if you make a, uh, like line width from 2 to 4 suppose okay so let's see how it is looking yeah little better it's looking little better but if you want so make it little light so you can move up you can move up and you can see now once I move up so then it will be very uh, this line is looking very hard so now uh, what I do I can make this is reduced to uh, that particular thickness 2 will be fine to look your map good yes so this is the way how you can create a map very nicely and you see this is the very nice alert map which you can use to your friends and you can save it as a, um, uh, say a web map that is required to show and share with your friends so for that we can just simply go to here in a save map and give some name like cyc cyclone date map okay give some tag uh, cyclone 
update it's fine and this will be the cyclone update uh, cyclone update map again you can give like that cyclone update and analysis source and this save it so now it will going to save to your arcgis online content so where from where you can able to save this map okay and whenever there is a cyclone alert simply you open this map so everything will going to open in the same way so how will do that so simply you go to the content and here now you can able to see the map cyclone hybrid map so that will be came here and see whenever i will going to click again on that map so i can able to see the cyclone alert of that particular area so it will be regularly update you know that is because the satellite image which will which will have here it will be continuously update this, this um, uh, noaa satellite imagery which whatever you we found here na so that will be con continuously updating so whenever it will be continuously update so whenever there is a cyclone near to the indian coast you can just open this map and you can see and if you want to share with your friends so that will be a very nice things you can do so simply go to the content if you want and here you have a share options okay so if you want to particularly this map if you want to share with your friends so simply click on the share and click on this everyone and click on save and now just copy that link okay and give it to others so that uh, anybody can access this map okay so suppose i'm simply click on save okay so now this is my public boundary is okay that is premium that is not possible but otherwise you can you can at least see this okay so this map if you this link if you want to share with your others okay so um, like your friends and all so from where you will get the link of this particular map you simply click on this see you can share in a facebook you can share in a twitter or you can copy this link simply copy and go and paste it to the whatsapp in with your friends so they say they can also able to see the cyclone alert so that is the from my side i hope you enjoyed this session and uh, if you like my channel please subscribe and give your like okay thank you and give your comments how you will feel good so if you is it hindi is uh, better for you or english is uh, comfortable for you so whatever you will just request i will make my video in future in hindi also thank you okay bye